already. It's been a while. What's up, y'all? It's me. It's Ricky. I am finally, 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 finally back with another story time. A lot of y'all was like, bitch, where the fuck? I get it. Don't worry. I'm back for real this time. You know, I just... <laughs> A lot of stuff has happened. The bitch is adulting, literally. Like, I'm turning 19 this year. I started this YouTube channel when I was, like, 14. So, you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this story is about the time I snuck into a club at 17. So, a week before, I was scrolling down Instagram, doing what everybody does when they was bored, you know. I don't really have a social life for real. I can't lie and say that I do because I don't. I be in that bed. Or on that clock, you hear me? And boom, I see that my celebrity crush it had um, posted a flyer and, you know, just basically saying he was gonna be somewhere. So all I seen was Chicago and I said, what? It's up there on my granny, it's up. Then it said it was gonna be at a club and I said, God damn, I ain't gonna see my man. Like, fuck, I'm not old enough, I'm 17. So what the fuck? How am I supposed to see you and love on you if I can't even get through the fucking door? You know? Yeah. You know, so everybody that seen that flyer was just like, girl, your man coming, girl, your man coming. I'm like, can y'all stop sending me this? Y'all don't see where it said he gonna be at the club. I don't have no fake ID. I can't get in that bitch. You making me more depressed. Like I'm about to jump off my fucking building. So I wanna say that whole week, I really kind of just like shook it off. I'm like, okay, well, he coming to Chicago. I doubt he just gonna do one thing and dip, you know, it's Chicago. But Chicago don't really be busting like it used to be back then. So I'm like, you know, I work at Sugar Factory downtown. Well, I did it this time. I'm like, you know, I work at the Sugar Factory. He might just pop his little skinny fine ass up in there. So all I was doing was just like hoping and praying, hoping and praying that they schedule me for that day. They did not schedule me for that day. Now, I'm just shit out of luck. So the night before, I was sitting like, damn, my man really gonna be here tomorrow and I'm not gonna see him. It wasn't really sitting in my soul, right? Like, <laughs> it's just like, you know this man is gonna be here and you finna sit here and not at least try, you know? Like, but that voice in my head was beating my ass. Like, the little, the inner me was like, bitch, stop moping and figure out how, how you finna see him tomorrow. Even if you can't get into the club, like, you finna see him tomorrow. He's in the city. You're going to see him. You're going to see him. You're going to make it the fuck happen. I'm listening to my inner voice. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you right, bitch. I'm going to see him tomorrow. I'm going to motherfucking see him tomorrow. I want the only reason why I don't see him tomorrow is because I just simply ain't get lucky. Not because I didn't try. Not because I stayed in the house and cried. No, I didn't have nothing else to do because I didn't have to go to work and I was fresh out of school. Only reason I don't see him is because I just did not get that lucky. So that night, I picked up my fit. It was a fit that I had already pre-put together for real. I just, um, how do I say this? It was a fit I had already pre-put together already. I just kind of, uh, I just never wore it. Like, I put it together, but I never wore it. You know, sometimes you just have a fit. You're like, you know what? This is cute. I'll wear it when I need it type shit. That, it was one of them. Now, as I'm sitting here on my bed, you know, trying to schedule out how my day finna go, like, this one stove just kept ringing in my head. You know, it was Macy's. Sometimes it's just like Macy's, 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 Macy's. I'm like, what the fuck would... <sighs> I almost just said his name. I almost just said his name. <laughs> so we gonna call him Hot. What the fuck would Hot be doing up in Macy's? Even though I didn't think about it, Macy's do got a lot of like expensive shit up in there. But what the fuck would he be doing in Macy's? I kept seeing the color red. So I'm like, okay, I'm seeing red. Either Target or Macy's. I'm like, maybe it's Target. My intuition just wasn't clicking with Target. It kept saying Macy's. So I went ahead. I was like, fuck it. Okay, Macy's. I looked up the address to Macy's. And the address to Macy's was 111, I think, South or State Street. 111 State Street. Did we just run into a Sir Angel number? Okay. We're going to Macy's. The next day type shit. I got ready. I washed my ass. I did. <laughs> I washed my ass, I got, I got myself together, and I put them clothes on, and I headed out. Um, I think he had to be, I think the the event was at like 10, or like 9, or like 8. It was, it was 
at some time. So I'm like, okay, I'm at least want to be walking around. I want to be outside by like four or something. So I went downtown and um, first place I went to was Macy's. Y'all, I was in Macy's for like four hours, bro. I'm not for like four hours, G. Four hours. No, my intuition said Macy's. My intuition said Macy's. My intuition. Bitch, your intuition was wrong. It just needed you to see the one, one, one. That's all it was. Damn. After hours of being in that motherfucking place, I finally decided, screw it. It's time to bounce. So I finally got up out of there. Meanwhile, my phone had to be like on 36. All right, so he's not, he's obviously not in there. I did, I did end up going to the bathroom, right? I was in there for a long time. I went to the bathroom and um, I heard somebody outside of the bathroom like, yeah, baby, I'm gonna be there. I'm headlining, I'm headlining. I said, headlining? He was like, tonight, yeah, at the club. Like, that don't sound like hot. That don't sound like hot. That ain't hot. So I opened the door quick as fuck. He was not there. The voice, whoever that was, was gone. I know who it was now, but you know, so I'm like tripping, bro. <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> this shit not funny. I left out the Macy's no matter how much I felt like I was like, no, don't leave. Do not leave. I left anyway. I already wasted half the day. It's almost time for him to be at the club pretty soon in like a few hours. Ain't no time for me to be sitting here waiting for hot when he ain't here. I left and I walked from Macy's all the way down to the water tower. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I was going to see this man. You, you wasn't finna tell me I wasn't going to see this man. I was not missing this man. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. I finally make it to the water tower. Now I get in the water tower and I go upstairs. I think it was a weekday, so they didn't really trip on my age for real. And then even so, what I was wearing, you would've thought I was 18. <laughs> I wasn't yet, but you know. I'm like, okay, what are all the dude stores? You know, what's a dude store hot would be in? So the first dude store I thought of was All Star. It got hella jerseys and shit. I think that's the name of an all-star something. If you've been in the water tower, you know what I'm talking about. That Robert's jersey shop up in there. How was it in there? What am I going to do? Half of my day going. I went into damn near every store. Damn near every store. I went into fucking Foot Locker. <laughs> Yo, I tried so hard to see him. I didn't catch him nowhere downtown Chicago. So I'm like, fuck. I've been out all day. It ain't been a trace of this skinny teddy, man. Nowhere. Fuck. <laughs> I go ahead and I go to the bathroom. I'm charging my phone. And in that bathroom while I'm charging my phone, I'm looking at myself looking pretty as hell. And I'm like, damn, twin, we really not finna see him. Like, we really not finna see him. Unless. Unless we text the promoter. Unless we text the promoter and tell her that we not from here, we forgot our ID, and we need to get in the club. And we already paid for our ticket. So that was the million dollar, <laughs> the million dollar thing. A light bulb went off. Do some juvenile shit. Illegal shit. Get up in that motherfucker club. Go see your man. Hot. I went in my notes, and I wrote down everything I needed to say. I had to get my story straight. It needed to be actual and factual. Fuck you mean. I needed to make sure I remembered it. If I wanted to ask stuff, I need to remember it later. You know, like, I had to get my shit together. Quick. Look at these splits. Go on my notes. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to block out his name, of course, because y'all not going to see his name. But this is what I texted the promoter. <laughs> I'm proofreading it. Make sure there ain't no spelling errors or nothing like that. <sighs> I'm like, this is... You know, I only got one shot, come on to win you. Do it, no matter what the laws say, I'm gonna see you. And yeah, I was thinking on it, my hands, my heart was stumping. I'm like, this is my last chance. If you don't make this move, you don't know when you're gonna see him again. You know, like, you don't know when he's gonna be back to the rack. I walked out of the bathroom, I went down the stairs, and, you know, if you ever been to the uh, water tower, because I'm getting ready to leave. Because, you know, at this time, the water tower is going to close. And pretty soon, the event at the club was going to start. So, you know, like I said, it's my last chance. Motherfucker. 
I'm walking down the stairs. You know where they be having like the fountains and shit. If you've ever been at the water tower, they got fountains and the stairs. There's like a little sitting place, right? So I went down the stairs. I go to the sitting place. I went online. I think it was to Eventbrite. I found the promoter's number. I text the promoter. Everything that I put down in this note. It took nothing for this person to text me back. The person said, okay, I'll let the door know. Perk 10, I just popped up. Perk 10, Perk 30, I just popped up. You gonna do what? Perk 10, I just popped up. Perk 10, Perk 10, I just popped up. Perk, you know, baby, I ain't give a fuck about nothing else. I said, I'm finna see my motherfucking man. I'm walking towards my job at this point because um, my phone needed to charge. Mind y'all, I charged it when I was in Macy's. I charged it when I was in the water tower in the bathroom. I went to where I was working at the time, Sugar Factory. And across from the Sugar Factory is Nordstrom. And they got like little charging places. I charged my phone then. I go to the Sugar Factory because I'm like, you know, I'm gonna have to get an Uber. Forgot to say this, but the Uber was cheaper going from my job to the club. So I get down there to the sugar factory. You know, as soon as I walk in, all my coworkers was like, damn girl, damn girl, where you going damn girl? You know, you sure now, you graduated, you know how to act. You're damn right, and I'm finna see my man. I don't know how to act. Home training, out the fucking window. What's home training? Never heard of it. I leave the sugar factory. And I'm on my way to the club. Now, mind you, I wanted it to be a little off because I didn't want to get dropped off in front of the club. Just because I, you know. So, I made him drop me off at the Nordstrom that's right on the corner of that club. I think I might be getting, <laughs> I think I might be giving too much off. I walk down and it's only a few people in line. I wanted to get there early because my phone was finna there. So, I'm like, you know, I get in, charge my phone, be good. Lagging longer, da 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 da. I don't know where I hear everybody pull out your IDs. I'm like, you know, I ain't worried about that. Shorty, whoever on the phone said they let the door know I'm cool, you know? I'm like, oh yeah. So everybody, he's like, you know, he went down the line and it's funny, my turn. He's like, you know, can I see some ID? We're gonna call him Milk Dud. Cause Milk Dud bitch ass got on my nerves. Y'all finna find out. He was like, um, can I see your ID? And I'm like, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't got my ID. I told the promoter about da da da. I'm trying to explain to him. You know, cause you know, you the door. I'm supposed to be letting you know, you know? It's me, you know? That don't mean nothing to me. The promoter ain't running shit up in here. I need to see some ID. So I told him, you know, I'm sorry, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't got it. So he just walked past and he went and ID'd the rest of them. So now I'm getting scared. Cause I'm like, did this bitch just play me? <laughs> did, this, did somebody just play me? Did the person not tell you that I'm cool? I'm cool, gang. I'm cool, gang. For all that shit. I'm cool. But he didn't want to hear none of that shit, y'all. Y'all, it had went on from being like other people got in line. They went and told them that um that they was underage. And of course he wasn't trying to hear none of that shit. Me, I lied. I don't give a fuck. I lied. I lied. I told them I was 23. I lied. I lied my ass off. Because <laughs> for one, I was young looking. So like 23 is pushing it. 20, even 21 was pushing it. If I said I was 21, they weren't going to believe me. So I had to <laughs> go a little higher. The other girl, we were standing next to each other. She was like, hey, friend. Because uh, she came with her mama. And yikes, for one. This is no disrespect to her, but like. Yikes. She's not the only one, though. Other <laughs> Other young ones brought their parents with them. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So all of us are standing outside. <laughs> and finally see the promoter. She's like, I'm going to get y'all in. I'm going to get y'all in. Don't worry. I'm going to get y'all in. Stand over here. I'm going to get y'all in. I've been outside for hours. I literally have been outside for hours. My phone deceased. It wasn't even dead all the way. But a few more minutes and it was going to be gone. Her first idea, the promoter's first idea was to just... Tell the head, you know, tell the head boss, like, hey, if you see people with this wristband, this one, this one right here, 
they're cool, okay? They're cool and they're with the artists. That's what she told Boss Man about me and the other girls who was trying to get in the club because we really wanted to see hot. And Boss Man agreed to it at first. At first, guess what Milk Dud did? So she went inside. I don't know why she went back inside. But she went back inside. The promoter went back inside. And then Milk Dud goes and tells Mr. Boss Man, hey man, she's trying to sneak. She's trying to sneak some underages up in here with those wristbands, you know? She's trying to stick some underage or something here with the wristbands, right? So the owner goes in and tells her, dead that mission, you're not about to do that. If that's what you're trying to do, you're not about to do that. Fuck you, milk dud, and I hope you see this with your ball. I just wanted to see my man. I really just, I just wanted to see my man, and that was it. That was it. Fuck. So now she's pretty much trying to figure out how the fuck am I going to get these people in because I don't want to give them refunds. That's exactly why she was trying so hard. Because anybody else would just told us, oh, well, you should never try. I'm not giving you a refund. You knew you wasn't old enough. You knew this was a club. But she was like, no, I want them to get in so I don't have to pay them the money back. I guess hot must have cost a lot of money. Hot. Hot. Dum, 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 dum. Everything Lydia I love when it's hot. We still out there. It's been... A little bit over an hour, people going in, people coming out. This one girl keeps trying to sneak in with her boyfriend. New dub was not letting that slide. We was trying to find other ways to get around. I'm like, can we just go through the other door? I'm talking to the owner. I'm talking to one of hot security. I think the main security. And he he just thought he was so funny. Hot security was talking to Milk Dud. He was like, what are these, you know, why are they standing right here? And then Milk Dud is like, <laughs> Milk Dud is like, oh, because they're underage. Cause that's how he was talking. He was one of uppity black niggas, you know. He's like, oh, because they're underage, they can't get in the club. And then, and then hot security, he gonna look at us and say, who y'all came to see? Why would Wait, you say that? Fix it. Why would you say that? We already having a rough night, and your milk bag, cause you got a milk bag here too. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? You know what we can't. We came with who riding with you, nigga. That's who we want to see. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, real quick, this is not to disrespect hot security guard. I'm being funny, okay? I hate security. Y'all y'all piss me off. And my sister is security guard. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all, for real. Because y'all the biggest ops in the fucking world. <laughs> my folks can't do shit. <laughs> y'all always right there, bro. Oh, my kids irritate the dog shit out of me. Why not? After a while, Milk Dub finally gets the fuck from by the door. He goes in, as soon as he goes in, the smaller security guard comes out, the promoter comes out, she's like, follow me. When I tell you, I was, <sighs> I'm telling my friend, I'm like, come on, bitch, come on. Cause I'm like, I ain't going down without my girl. So we get in the car with her sister and it's me and it's the girl I was with and it's the other girl who couldn't get in. Uh, and it was another girl who couldn't get in who brought her mama as well, who was sitting in the front seat. I think she was like, uh, you know, like either Dominican, you know, she had to be like spinach of the sort. They're trying to figure out a way to get us in this club. And me, I don't give a fuck. Cause at the end of the day, I'm going to see my man. I know it. When I was in that lab earlier, I was praying to God. I was like, God, please let me see him today. Please, I done came all this way. We, we hit the block a couple times, right? So we finally go behind the, uh, we went around like the club a couple times just so she could like, just so that the sister could scope out, you know, like what we looking at, you know, who's back there, you know. So she pull up one last time. Little did I know, this is where Hot was going to be coming in. She went around the, the club twice just so she see where all the security was at. So she go around to the back this last time. And she see two, it's not the security, it's the host and it's the DJ. So she tells him, she said, hey, can y'all let them in for me? Boy, the, the host and the DJ flat out told her ass, no, hell no, we not letting them in. We don't know you, da, da, da. And she looking at them like, bitch, I paid for you to be here. What are you talking, nigga, you with me. What are you talking about? No, bitch, let them in. He was like, look, if you can have the promoter come and tell us to let them in, if you can have the promoter, you know, shoot us a text or something, then we'll let them in. She's like, bitch, the promoter is my sister. What are you talking about? Like, she was getting irritated with them. So she called up her friend. She's like, girl, girl they're, not trying to let, they're not trying to let them in, girl. Like, for real, like, sister, they're not trying to let them in. Like, she was saying her name, but, you know, she's like, sister, they're not trying to let them in. 
they're not trying to let them in like they're really not trying to let them in and she was like i don't know what the girl was saying on the phone but i don't know where she must have got real tired she was like is there any security on the outside of that door on the inside of that door and so they open it up they say no boy she said come on all of us hopped out that bitch <laughs> all of us hopped out that bitch and we walked into the club she gave us the wristbands that i just showed you she said, put this on. Don't get caught by that one security guard. If you do, that is on you. They put you out. You, that's on you. I said, man, you ain't said nothing but a word. I'm in here like swimwear. I ain't going nowhere till I see my nigga. I ain't going nowhere. That's my motherfucking man. That's my motherfucking man. There, I'm taking it up. I'm a little bit above my time because I really grew up around 90s kids. Like, all my cousins, my older sisters, everybody was born in the 90s. I'm a 2000s baby, but everybody was born in the 90s, so I kind of grew up quick because by the 2000s, these motherfuckers was like teenagers already. So I'm doing what they doing, you know, Bob, Dad, Bang. I'm listening to all the little, the little hip roll, <laughs> all, that, all that shit. So I know all the music. I'm blending right in, honestly. I'm trying to step away from all the girls who was outside because if they get caught, I don't need it to be like, yeah, come on with us. You too. Yeah, bitch, no. After a while, I stopped giving a fuck. I'm like, look, all I know is if a nigga try to put me out before I see my nigga, it's gonna be some shit. When we first walked through and she gave us our wristbands, it was a nigga dancing on stage with a teddy bear. He was a rapper though, but it was a teddy bear, like a nigga dressed up in a teddy bear costume and him dancing and, you know, and rapping and shit. I ain't gonna lie, his music was, his music bumped. I ain't gonna lie, his music bumped. His music bump. So I was like, okay. So we're listening to him. He like, hot right after me. Hot right after me. Y'all ready for hot? Now I'm like, whoa, bring him out, bring him out. So I ended up standing next to the girl who I was talking to and she called me friend. I ended up standing next to her. I'm talking to my girl, me and her singing with each other. We, ah, you know, like this is my bestie. The whole time I'm outside by myself. The whole, this whole story time. Then I have a friend. It was just me and my lonesome trying to see this man that's how dedicated i was to see hot i can't tell y'all who hot is but y'all find out sooner or later so we're in a club and all these people's going before hot where the fuck is hot where's hot at i've been here all day my phone is about to die literally my shit was was juking on five percent i had to hurry up and call my uber and schedule it for at least like 1 p 1 a.m because i'm like i don't know when hot's gonna get here I don't know when he's gonna get here. I just know that I need to still have a ride even if this phone died. I ordered my Uber for, I think like 1 a.m. And, cause it was like 11 then or 12. So I'm like, yeah, 1 a.m. should do it. If he not done, he gonna be halfway done. I need to get home anyway. I'm really not that grown. We standing in there for forever. My phone finally fucking dies. And hot still not even in the building. They were just like stalling time, doing dances and shit, stalling time. What the fuck ever? I wasn't even there for that. I just want to see my man so I can go the fuck home. I had work the next day. So we all just chilling and cooling the next minute. I look to my right and their hot finally is. My phone deceased. I told the girl next to me, whatever you got, whatever you record, anything, send everything to me. I'm happy as hell. My phone is dead, so I'm really just living in the moment. Smiling big as hell, because I can't see none of his songs. Y'all gonna know who I'm talking about. So I'm just like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. He looked good as fuck in person. People was giving him gifts. I feel like y'all know who this is. Uh -huh. They really, they really support this nigga. Like, hot really that nigga. Been that nigga, still that nigga. What are you talking? He ends up performing a song that actually got released at that time. So, you know, I kid you not, he was probably in there for like 15, 20 minutes at max. At most, probably 30. But you know what? I still was happy I got to see him. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like dislike subscribe unsubscribe follow unfollow whatever makes you happy and ricky at this thing <laughs>